Get out there in Facebook land. What have we got here? <laughs> oh my god. Tag me, uh, tag me if you're on, uh, just so I know who I'm performing to. I will put on a better show, I promise. It's bloody hot down here. Uh, it's full December weather. It's like at least, I don't know, 35, 36 degrees today, which is good. We've got um, a couple of days to get into uh, Christmas. Here we go. Seven o'clock on the dot. I know I don't normally do seven o'clock on the dot. Normally we get a bit busy, but I've told everyone to shut up, get out the back, and um, <laughs> we, we've got to do our last live. Probably might even be our last live for the year. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen next Thursday. Um, whether we're going to go live on Thursday or whether we're, um, you know, give everyone a break. We're not having a break. Uh, we'll be here in the shop next Thursday. Um, everyone's asking about Christmas hours. Tristan, g'day, mate. Uh, everyone's asking about Christmas hours. We're only shut public holidays. So we're here tonight till 8. Jace from Hunt, Catch, Cook. G'day, mate. Teen, how are you? Um, we're only closing the public holiday, so Monday, Tuesday, I've got some uh, big chores to do at home. So uh, I'll be at home going hard, so I'm just trying to keep track of what's going out there on the street. Because um, it's light and I can actually see. Um, hey Kimbo, how are you mate? Um, yeah, so there's plenty to see, plenty to do um, coming up. Um, so we'll be here all day tomorrow. Roscoe, g'day mate. Um, Rifleman Knives, how are you? Uh, Felix, g'day mate. Um, yes, yeah, so there's plenty going on, there's plenty happening, and we'll be here right up until tomorrow evening, I suppose. Um, not due to get out of the shop until 5.30. We'll see what happens um, and who rolls through the shop. Uh, then, if you get caught out, give us a buzz. We will help you out. Neil, g'day, big fella. Uh, Cody, g'day, mate. How are you? Jace, uh, Santa, I don't know, mate. Santa's been pretty busy. Um, I'd like Santa to bring you a cement floor, of all things. I've got a lot of broken machinery at home at the moment over the last couple of months. I need a cement floor to start working on it. Jimbo, g'day mate, how are you? So what we're going to do, um, I hope everyone's at home. I hope you've got a beer, an ice cold beer. Um, we've been madly trying to get stock out on the shelf um, this week. Everyone's been asking us about Yeti. This is our Yeti stand. So Yeti was delivered two days ago, apparently. Is it visible? This is the new invisible Yeti model. So uh, it was the freight was due two days ago. Apparently it's been, oh, I would love a new telehandler. Drop one out. Um, one with uh, linkage on the back, uh, Kimbo, if you can, or hydraulics. I've got to dig a few holes. Um, yeah, Yeti was delivered here two days ago, apparently. We're still waiting on it, um, which is driving me bananas. Heaps of Surfer Joe thongs for the boys uh, if you need a little uh, Christmas stocking filler. We've got a heap of life jackets uh, that have come in. So if you're going boating or rock fishing, they tell me. If you're rock fishing down Albany, these are the go. These little water snakes. Um, these are, or actually, if you're in the boat in, as, as an adult, I'll just whack one of these on because these are wicked. Milo, g'day mate, how are you? Having a beer and prep to go out and get some fox pups. Giddy up, mate. I'll uh, let me know how you go, Roscoe. So, in terms of life jackets, if you're a, if you're a big boy, these are really cool. Um, they're not inherently buoyant, which means they don't, um, you know, they don't automatically inflate and they won't hold you up. But what they will do is uh, is float you on a uh, on a gas bottle. Sounds silly, I know, but look, really lightweight, don't get in your way. And these things, I think, uh, if, you, if you are beach fishing, rock fishing down Albany Way, these are the bloody go. So what they've got is a little uh, carbon CO2 canister in them. You pull this toggle, the whole thing inflates. There's a little whistle in there, just like the, uh, you know, just like the stewardess in the airline. Don't pull that red one if you don't need to. Uh, you can whistle for help and it'll float you really, really good. Where's your bloody mask? That's a good question. Um... Busso, Steve. Good work, mate. Have fun down Busso. So these are a go. We've got these in the shop. We've also got normal uh, buoyant ones. We've got some fishing rods, all that sort of gear ready to go. What else did I have come in just the other day? Oh, hang on. One last. Oh, a few in the neighbor's place. Giddy up. Tell them to send them over. This is this is a great little chair from our friends at Wild Track. This is a Hamlin. So if you've, if you've noticed uh, any of the themes from the Wild Track crew, so the Hamlin, the Waluna... Uh, what else we got here? I want them to do a Narragin. So if you're watching at uh, Wild Track Leisure, Jul the Julemar. Um, if you're watching uh, at Wild Track, the Julemar Moon, the Hamlin Landshare. Uh, what else we got? Oh, the Valley, the Valley, the Wild Track Valley. I want the, the Wild Track Narragin. We've got to try and lobby them to get something down here. But look, we've got double, we've got double overhand cup holders. This is a great little thing. But the Valley Chair folds up like, uh, sorry, the Hamlin folds up in a bag, so it's not going to take up too much room. 
but what it does do, I'm gonna try and do this without sitting in it. Woo! Look at that, it folds out. So it folds out like a little semi-recliner. Look at that bad boy. What a great bit of kit. They've been on back order for ages, been waiting for these to come through, and we've finally got some, which is really, really good. So you can use it as a, as a normal chair, which is very good, or, but you fold it out. So our good friends at Wild Track Leisure, that's a great little product. Uh, we've got heaps of tents, so if you're gonna go camping over the, the break, um, we're, we're back in between the break. I'm gonna try and get one of these up. This is a block out tent um, from Austral. Now these guys use a lot of uh, like super dark sort of fly screen and netting, and it blocks out a heap of the light so you can actually get a sleep in while you're on holidays, which is good, or uh, you know nurse that hangover. Um, these little retro chairs have been going out like wildfire. So little wet retro chairs, wild track narrowage and broken armrest is standard. Oh, come on, Woggy. I thought instead of um, uh, broken arm, we could do something like, um, you know, comes with a goon bag holder. I've all got, you know, like little little cup holders. We could get a goon, the narrowage and goon bag holder in there. Um, but yeah, these little retro camp chairs are really good. We've been going through heaps of those and we've still got a fair few left. Um, the side chiller chair. So these again from Austria with an actual little chiller. I suppose they stole my idea. You could put a goon bag in that. But the little side chiller, side chiller one. Ricky, how are you? The other thing that we've got a lot, lot of um, at the moment, or a, a few of, if you want to go hard um, and buy yourself a nice uh, uh, swag. So look, we've got a whole lot of different swags and different price points. Looks like I'm going to have to go and get some more from out the back. But uh, some AOS ones. Now these are made in Perth, WA. They're a West Australian swag made of um, decent, decent canvas. They come in a swag bag as well, which is really handy. A couple of styles. We've got them in singles and uh, king singles and um, and a double, a couple of doubles. If you want a, a really, really good swag made in WA, um, these guys are the gum. We've got plenty of them. They're not the cheapest price point swag, uh, but they are one of the better ones that I, I use. I've used one for the last... I don't know, Jesus, 20 odd years. Um, they are brilliant. So AOS swags, if you want to treat yourself uh, come come um, uh, Christmas time or the break time. We've got a heap of air pumps. So if you bought yourself some blow up stuff, just give us a ring. We've got um, double action air pumps. They're not on the system at the moment, but they're 20 bucks. 20 yep. Um, we've got hammocks back in stock. So we, uh, we ran out of hammocks. Uh, we've got all of those. So if you want a lazy torn, that's the go. Where's the guns, Jeff? Well, guns are a bit of a funny thing. You see, all the algorithms keep searching guns, and we keep getting knocked back um, on guns. Giant rock and unicorns, we've got them in stock, which is wicked for the pool, uh, floaty beer things. Yeah, guns are a bit of a thing, um, mate. Hey, Pat, how are you? Uh, Rolling, g'day, Brian. Yeah, so um, unfortunately, what's happening with our Facebook, uh, our Facebook world and algorithms is they keep searching things like gun products, and we keep getting reported, and our posts keep getting pulled down. So there's, um, there's not a lot. Get it back in the bag, Al. Is that? Uh, it's bloody hot, mate. I want a beer. I'll um, I might leave that for next time. We'll do. I, I should um, over the break. I should do a little swag thing. Um, hey, shorty, g'day, mate. G'day, Glenn. Yeah. So um, that's the reason why there's been a lot less gun talk um on on the Facebook live because we just keep getting pulled, and uh, it's fucking really starting to annoy me. So between banks, insurance companies not not liking the gun industry, um, obviously the Facebook algorithms keep searching us. Uh, the other cool thing that we've got just in time for Christmas is the little 45 litre wheelie, oh, the 45 little wheelie eskies. So these are a cheap little wheelie esky if you're going to parties, um, things like that. I've also got this little cool thing, little little one entry hatch, so you don't have to open up the whole the whole lid, the whole area to get in there. It's just like a blip, you know, grab one one stub, stubby out at a time, or uh, or cool drink. Um, the, the other thing, home on tap. I'll be right over. Look out. Um, the other one that we've got is, is a couple of little hoodies for the kids as well. So these are these are really great little poncho pals. Um, I've got them for my kids. And I've just done that, but the camera's facing the wrong way. Here we go, little poncho pals. So they're a good little thing for the kids. Um, and they come in a nice little a presentable little sand bucket, which is wicked. Just in time for summer. Oh, shit balls. Don't forget the Steelos t-shirts and singlets. Oh, my God. Look, it's, it's just... It's just PR gone mad. The other thing I'm a bit excited about, I just got some stuff dropped off uh, from my good friends at Tasco, and we're going to have a look at a bit of gear over the break. Uh, we're going to look at these uh, new Thrive HD scopes, which is going to be wicked. Uh, all in the MRAD click adjustments, which is cool. There's a little bit of a care package in here. There's a couple of whee, there's a couple of trail cameras. Uh, we've got some callers, which is going to be cool. What else have we got in here? Some rifle shell holders. Yeah, so there's a bit of gear to have a look through. 
I'm going to have a bit of work to do over the next couple of days by the look of it, having a look through some of this gear. Oh, and some laser range corners that would be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about some of that gear. So that'll be some gear um, from, uh, from Tasco Australia and Zero Tech that I'm going to have a bit of a look at and see how we go. Show the knife sharpener. Yeah, they're a bloody good knife sharpener, aren't they, Evo, mate? Um, yeah, they're a good knife sharpener. So, uh, look, on that note, uh, it's getting late. It's getting real late. Uh, and I've got, uh, I've got Coke and beer that's calling my name. Um, look, it's been, a, it's been a cracking December for us uh, in here. We've been running off our feet as well. Um, and uh, I want to thank all of you guys out there for tuning in um, or recommending people to come and see us in, in Little Marriage in our little slice of paradise. Uh, I couldn't be here doing what we do uh, without you guys watching. Um, I couldn't employ the crew that I employ, which is, which is great. There's uh, you know, another two families on top of my family here in, in Sunny Marriage and doing what we do. So, um, you know, from us at Steelos, uh, I'm going to bid you all a, a super Christmas. I hope the big fat man uh, gets what you want. Hey, Kerbs, uh, gets you what you want um, and uh, drops you off some cool stuff under the tree. And I, I'll see whether we touch base next Thursday. We might, we might, uh, we might be out um, next Thursday, but um, stay off the coke. It's not that sort of coke, mate. Could you imagine me on that? It'd be terrible. But look, we are here all day um, tomorrow um, and then we're back on uh, Wednesday, guys. But uh, have fun out there. Um, thanks for supporting us through the year and we'll uh, touch base with you again next year very soon with some exciting stuff there is some exciting stuff coming i'm not going to mention any of it yet, yet. i'm sworn to secrecy but uh there is some good stuff coming so um oh shit oh, i've got marlins are coming marlin 4570s we've got heaps of orders on those so if you're after a marlin only in 4570 at the moment we've got them on the way but um yeah have a great christmas um play safe drive safe and uh we'll see you on the other side cheers guys